girl is an angel. Do you know that? Do you? She's the most fantastic of fantastical creatures. Bewitching. But I know too how kind, firm and noble she is. You don't believe me. Grushinka, my angel, come into us. This is Alyosha. He knows all about our affairs. Show yourself to him. I was just waiting behind the screen for you to call me. This is the first time we've met Alexey Fyodorovich. I wanted to meet her, to see her. And she came to me at my first request, flew to me like an angel of goodness and brought me tranquility and joy. You did not disdain me, sweet and worthy young lady. Charmer, enchantress. How could I possibly disdain you? Here, I must kiss your lower lip. It looks as though it was swollen and now it will be more so. And more, and more. <laughs> Look how she laughs, Alexei Fyodorovich. Isn't she lovely? You make too much of me, dear young lady. Perhaps I am not worthy of your kindness. Not worthy. We're very fanciful, Alexei Fyodorovich. Very self-willed and the proudest of the proud in our own little heart. But we have been unfortunate. There was a man, five years ago, an officer. We loved him, sacrificed everything for him. But he forgot us and took a wife. Now, he is a widower. He is written. He is coming here. And you know what? We've loved none but him all this time. Now Grushinka will be happy again. These past five years, she's been wretched. But who can reproach her? Who boast of her favour? None but that bedridden old merchant, and he's more like a father, a protector to her. You defend me very kindly, dear young lady, and with such determined haste. Defend you? How could I possibly dare? Grushinka, my angel, give me your hand. Look at this charming, small hand, Alexei Fyodorovich. Look at it. It has brought me happiness, and I'm going to kiss it inside and out. Here, <laughs> here, here. <laughs> you won't make me blush, dear young lady, kissing my hand like that before Alexei Fyodorovich. You think I mean to make you blush? Oh, my dear, how little you understand me. Yes, and you too perhaps quite misunderstand me. You see, I ensnared poor Dmitri Fyodorovich because I knew I could, for my own amusement. But now you will save him, won't you? You gave me your word. You will explain to him that you have long loved another man who now offers you marriage. Hmm. I don't think so. But you promised. Oh, no. I promise nothing. Ah, you see at once, dear young lady, what a willful wretch I am. If I want to do a thing, I do it. If I don't, I won't. I might have made you some little promise a while ago, but now I think I may prefer Mithyur after all. I liked him very much once, for almost a whole hour. Just now you said something quite different. Ah, oh, just now? But what if when I go home I feel differently? I'm such a soft-hearted, silly creature. Only think of what he's gone through on my account. And you see, I'm so fickle. I never expected you to go back on... Oh, young lady, how good and generous you are compared with me. Give me your sweet little hand. Angel lady, you kiss my hand three times, but I ought to kiss yours three hundred times to be even with you. Oh, what a sweet hand you have, dear young lady, you incredible beauty. You know, do you know, after all, I think I won't kiss your hand. As you please. What's the matter with you? But then you shall be left to remember that while you kissed my hand, I did not kiss yours. And how Mitya will laugh. Dirty <laughs> vixen, out! <gasps> for shame, young lady, for shame. It's unbecoming to you using language like that. Go away, you insolent creature for sale! For sale, indeed. But didn't you visit a gentleman at dusk? for money once, and bring your beauty for sale. You see, I know. He told me. Ah! No, not a step, not a word. Don't answer her, don't speak. 
She'll go away. She'll go away at once. Of course I'll go. Elliot, darling, see me home. Go away. Go away, make haste. Dear little Alyosha, won't you see me home? I've got such a pretty little story to tell you along the way. See me home, darling. You'll be glad of it afterwards. You will come to me, dear Alyosha, when the moment is right. You will come. <laughs>